Hello everybody. This is Maba, and today I'm going to show you how to make this fully customizable Christmas wreath using geometry nodes in Blender. You can change the thickness, the number of needles, the ornament's color, and the distribution. You can also use it as a modifier for every other curve. If you want, you can buy the full project on my Gumroad, the link is in the description. I thank you in advance if you decided to do so. Let's start by creating a circle with the curve option and rotate it on the x-axis by 90 degrees. Be sure to do it in edit mode. I'm renaming it so that everything is organized. Then move on to create the objects that will be our instances that will be added to the wreath in the geometry node panel. Here I am creating the needle. It doesn't need to be too detailed, but feel free to give it any shape that you prefer. Then I'm going to create the ornament, using a simple UV sphere, to make something that recalls a mistletoe berry. You can move the two objects away. They don't need to be visible in the composition. They only serve us as instances to create the whole wreath. I'm unhiding the circle I previously made and I'm going to click on the geometry node panel. Click on New to create a new Geonode modifier and let's start building our Christmas garland. We need to create something that will help us adjust the thickness of our garland. Using the search panel, select the Curve Circle node and then the Turn to Mesh node and link the curve to the profile curve. As you can see, our shape finally has some thickness. You can adjust it using the node settings. Now we need to create the nodes to distribute our needle on the surface of the circle. Let's first search for the instances on points node and then the distribute points on faces 1. Let's link the points. Let's call the object info and link geometry to instances. This way we will call an action that will distribute the needles by adding the needle object into the node. I'm adding the viewer node to be able to see what my nodes are doing. I'm then adding the join geometry node to link both the base and the needles. The needles are finally distributed on the circle mesh, but we need to add some more nodes to be able to adjust the rotation of the needles. Let's add a random value node, I'm increasing the density of our needles, and then I'm linking the random value node to the rotation panel. Select the vector option in the menu and adjust the randomness by adding a high value in the max properties.
I'm adding a value node to be able to adjust the length of the needles all at once. Now, since the geometry properties are linked through the join geometry node, if we adjust the thickness, the needles follow along. I'm going to select the needle instance from the layer panel and add a green material. The circle base is showing, and we don't want that. So we are going to unlink it from the join geometry socket. Now, I'm going to do the same for the ornaments. You can duplicate the instances on points, the distribute points on faces and the object info nodes and move them to the side. Decrease the density in the distribute points on faces node and replace the needle instance with the ornament instance in the object info node. Link the curve to mesh base to the mesh socket of the distribute points on faces node. Then link the instances on points with the join geometry node. Adjust the density of the ornaments and add a math node to be able to adjust the size all at once. Link it to the scale socket. Adjust the scale as you prefer. I'm using the min and max values and also adjusting the seed to give it more randomness. Select the Poisson disk option in the drop-down menu of the distribute points on faces to keep the ornaments from intersecting each other. Select the ornament from the layers panel to give it a material. Like before, if we adjust the thickness of the wreath, the instances will follow along. I'm making some adjustments to get the result I like the most. Our geometry node is ready. If you go in edit mode and select the pencil, you can see you can draw lines and the garland will automatically appear. Let's give our geometry node a neat look by organizing the nodes and layers. Let's create a collection by selecting the two instances and pressing M on the keyboard and rename it. This way we can hide the objects inside. Search for frame in the search panel and drag the nodes in it. Here I am making a different frame for each component of the project. You can rename the frame by selecting the frame and pressing F2 on your keyboard and give it the name that you prefer. Now we can move forward and create the inputs for our GeoNode modifier that will appear on the right side of the screen in the modifiers panel. I'm only going to link the sockets that will be essential for the customization of our Christmas wreath. To be able to edit the name of each input, press N on your keyboard and in the panel that appears on the right, search for the inputs you just created and rename them by double-clicking. Feel free to assign them whatever name that you like. Since I want to be able to customize the length of the needles, I'm replacing the value for the scale with a math node. That way I can add the socket to our inputs node.
Since I want to be able to customize the color of the ornaments as well, I'm going to create a second material by selecting the ornament in the layers panel. Then I'm going to add a set material node in our geometry node and link it to the ornaments node group. Then I'm linking it to the inputs node to be able to customize it in the modifier. To import the geometry node into a new project, you can do it by clicking on File, Append and search for the Blend file. Double-click on it, open the Node Tree folder and append the file. Move the two instances in a collection and hide it. Create a new curve object and assign the GeoNode modifier in the Modifiers panel on the right. We finally have our own customizable Christmas wreath. Thanks for watching.